Hi, y'all. It's me. I am doing a response video to the Secret Squirrel Society um, Tag Your It. And I was actually tagged a long time ago. I think by Rena or Joe, one of them tagged me and I never did it. Um, but I feel bad. So now I'm doing it. I figure what the heck. <laughs> um, and the only reason I don't put my face on camera for those of you who um, don't know is someone that is um, close to me works for something I can't say. And uh, as a protection measure, we were asked not to post pictures of ourselves around because it would pose a threat for that person. So anyhow, that's why I don't put my face on camera. Um, so anyway, let's see. Let's start with the questions. So number one was state your name, and it's Gina. And you guys know me as Scrapanology, most of you, or a lot of you. Um, how or where did you get started on YouTube? Believe it or not, I swear... <laughs> <laughs> I was searching, I, I, you know, computers are like, whatever, I'm not, I hate, really hate technology because it's taken away so much of our personalities, I think, um, with all this technology of the day. But anyhow, um, I heard about YouTube and I thought, you know, I just want to see if they, you know, they say there's everything on there. So I want to see. So I went on YouTube to search how to fix your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and um, actually, I found something that said how to fix your toilet. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> and so then I thought, well, you know, let me look for scrapbooking and see what comes up. And I guess the things that I saw the most was mini books. And I think it was a girl, GGS, Girls Gone Scrappy. And there was something else I can't remember back then. But anyway, I just was hooked from that point on with YouTube. I just could not stop watching videos. So anywhere. Um, anyhow, uh, number three was um, where do you create? Right now, I'm in a temporary living situation. <laughs> it's been quite a long temporary living situation. But I don't have a scrap room right at the moment. So I actually have a table set up um, here where I'm at and it's just a small card table and that's where I create. So um, that's that. Uh, do you ever lose your mojo? <laughs> that's like my best friend mojo. <laughs> I seem to lose it a lot. and um, But I know that if I'm ever in that mood, I... Um, I can turn to YouTube and watch videos and get inspired or I can, um, I download a lot, a lot of stuff from the internet and I can just browse through those pictures and it kind of usually helps a little bit. Favorite technique? Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I guess it would be stamping <laughs> because as y'all know, <laughs> I'm not going there anyway. So I would guess it would be stamping. Um, what's your favorite product? Okay, stamps right here. Stamps. <laughs> I love stamps. I don't care what kind of stamps, just stamps. <laughs> love stamps. And um, it's my terrible sin, I know, uh, next to paper because I also have tons and tons of paper. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, favorite brand? I am not a brand girl. I mean, if I see something I like, I get it. I don't I don't stick to brands because, you know, <laughs> it's like designer jeans. I, could, I don't care if I wear designer jeans or not, so not that kind of girl. Um, are you a night owl or a rooster? I'm definitely, definitely a night owl. Always have been, always will be. Uh, what do you hoard? Well, I told you that already. It's stamps and paper and lots of pictures of Matthews. You could see one in the background. <laughs> I wonder you guys have things to look at while you were hearing me talk. <laughs> um, do you have a wish list? Um, I have a wish list, and but it's not a scrapping wish list. And um, I, I don't, there's nothing really that I have to have. I mean, there's things I'd like to have, but they're not on a wish list. Wish list for me are mm -hmm. other things like good health and that kind of stuff. Those are my wish lists. Um, Favorite color and style? Well, my favorite colors have all have been usually the shabby chic colors because that's my favorite style. I like um, the greens and the pinks and the turquoise aqua colors and yellows and oranges. It just all 
the shabby chic thing. I, I tend not to use um, do that a lot because I think as a crafter, I'm pretty versatile and I like to do a lot of different things. I don't like to just stick with one style because it's just not a well-rounded crafter. I think it's good to experiment in everything and do a little bit of everything quite good. So that's my, that's my theory on that whole thing. Um, let's see. Do you sing in the car? Of course. Does anyone want to hear me? No, but I do it anyway. <laughs> uh, favorite food. I would say it have to be Chinese food and then Thai food after that. Those are my two favorites. Uh, what do you collect other than scrapbooking items? I collect statues. They're statues of couples. I've been collecting them for years. I unfortunately don't have any I can show you <clears throat> at the moment because they're all packed up in boxes, but um, I've been collecting them for a long, long time. And at my house in Mexico, I had a wall that was dedicated specifically to my statues. So um, yeah, uh, let's see. Hobbies other than scrapbooking? Is there any other hobby other than scrapbooking? <laughs> um, well, no, <laughs> no other hobbies at the moment. I think I'll stick with scrapbooking. And lastly, it is tell a funny story and make it a drinking story. Well, I don't drink, so I don't have a funny drinking story, but I do have a funny story. Why? Well, it's funny now. It wasn't funny at the moment. Um, I have a house in Mexico and, um, on the property, we have a, a turtle camp where we uh, rescue turtle eggs and then we keep them there until they hatch. And once they hatch, we set them free, the sea turtles. And um, that's been going on ever since I built my house there. So um, it's a it's a big camp and we have students that come from around the world to help out with that program. It's really awesome. So anyway, one day I was walking on the property and I saw a duck and it was injured. And I thought, well, I can take it over to the camp because the biologists there, maybe they know how to, you know, help nurture it back to health or something because I don't know what to do with a duck. So me being the nice person I am, I run over and I pick up the duck and I decided to carry it over to the turtle camp while I'm walking across, you know, in my flip flops and pareo and tank top and whatever, and just having a good old time and like talking to the duck. And don't you know that little rascal? He bit my breast. <laughs> it bit me so hard that I pretty much flung him across the air. I couldn't even, it was so painful. I can't even tell you. Um, and he actually bit my breast. So, I was like, screw you. I don't care if you get help or not. I ran in the house because I was hurting so badly. And the next day, I actually had really bad bruises on top and below the breast. So it was really hard. And so moral of that story is don't ever try to help a duck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so anyway, um, thanks so much. And I look forward to seeing the rest of the SS tag your it videos that might be out there and um thanks for bringing it back michelle because i i i told you i was tagged earlier and i never did it so now i did it i'm done talk to y'all later bye